Welcome back! My name is Baller Scuba. This is Video Games Over Time! We are still in 1986, and we are still in Might and Magic. When we last left off, I started the game, and I said I was going to do some level grinding to get everybody at least competent to be able to handle everything around them. I have done that, and by playing the game and kind of consulting more guides, I have a couple corrections to make, uh, but we'll kind of go through those as we see them. Let's start by looking at our character. Characters. Uh, everybody does have the same amount of experience. Nobody died, which is always a good sign. Uh, but I did get equipment along the way. So Brunelli is now on the short sword, small shield, and chainmail. Uh, our paladin is on chainmail and a sword, short sword. Uh, some people recommend putting the paladin first because, as you can see, AC is the same. Actually, I got that one wrong. Uh, I just assumed, uh, or I read incorrectly, that the lower AC was better in this game. This is the first game that we have played where you actually want a higher armor class. The higher, the better in this game. Uh, that is a first, but I am happy to see it. I like whole uh, positive numbers. I don't like negative numbers, so I'm happy to see that. But yes, in this game, you want higher armor class. Uh, then Aelwyn is on a great bow and leather armor. The great bow I picked up in a treasure chest, and we'll talk about treasure chests in a bit because I skipped that part as well. Uh, and then we do have Brody with a crossbow and leather armor, Humphrey with a club and padded armor, Shalvir with a club and padded armor. Now you might notice that I did use a spell point for Shalvir. I've gotten in the habit of getting into a fight Afterwards, um, we'll, we'll talk about what I do immediately afterwards, but after I deal with everything, I rest and then I cast a protection spell, which is leather skin. We kind of went over that a little bit before, and that will lower the amount of damage that I do. So uh, that's one thing that I got wrong. I'm sure there's more, but uh, let's kind of show where I've been level grinding. I've been level grinding here. Uh, if you remember where Otto's training is, it's kind of in the northeast corner. I've been kind of going up and down this corridor, uh, just kind of hoping for a battle. And the reason that I've been doing that is as best as I can tell, uh, my game is either not working properly or something is wrong. Uh, because I'm supposed to be getting into fixed encounters at this point, but it, it's just not happening for me. Uh, so if I go this way, for instance, um, and I go past all these statues here and go into this door at the back, there's supposed to be an encounter here every time I go in. It's not showing up for me, though, and I don't know why. I've tried to look and nobody seems to have any idea why that would be or did not care enough to write it down. So what I have been doing in order to try to get fight is just kind of going up and down this corridor and eventually I will get into a fight. Here's a good fight for us to show off. So I'll kind of show a, a bit of the battle tactics that have worked for me to this point because fighting in this game is not always the easiest. Plus, there's a few things that I learned about uh, this screen that will be helpful. So, uh, once again, we have one and two in our front line. That little plus sign means they're in melee range. So, right now, uh, number one, number two, and number four, so that's Brunelli, Thysigar, and Brody, are all in melee range. And then the Slither Beasts, A through E, are all in melee range. And then F is not, and then for us, Aelwyn, Humphrey, and Shalvier are not. So what I did uh, is I kind of went out of my way, actually, to get Aelwyn and Brody some slings, and that allowed them to attack from outside melee range. And as far as I can tell, melee range, who's in and who's out of melee range, uh, does seem to be random when the, the fight starts. I haven't seen anything different about that, so I'm just going to assume it's random. Uh, there's also a handicap, uh, and the handicap, I believe, will increase uh, your speed, so the chances of your characters going first increases when it says party plus something. So right now, a lot of us should be going first because the handicap is party plus three, and that changes every combat round. And once again, I think it is... 
relatively random, but they do seem to favor the people that are outnumbered more often than not. But maybe that's just me reading too much into it. All right, so regular fight. Um, we will start with Aelwyn, and you might see, you might notice, shoot on the menu here. That is a new option for us. This is because I have a ranged weapon on Aelwyn, specifically the Great Bow, which is great. Uh, so we're going to shoot, and then I can hit anybody I want out of the Slither Beasts. It doesn't really matter at this point, so I'm just going to go for A. Down it goes, and now everybody is in melee range, and uh, at least my enemies are. Uh, Thysagar, I'm still just going to attack. Once again, fight allows me to just kind of choose which one I want to go for, but I don't need those kind of tactics right now, so let's just attack and they'll hit A. Or they'll try, at least. Uh, because Brody is in melee range and has the crossbow, uh, we don't have the shoot option, so we're just going to attack. Uh, but normally we would. So Humphrey, pretty much every time I do one, two to start so that we have higher accuracy. This is why I rest after each one. Uh, and then Shalvir, instead of going for a fire blast to start, I'm going to use a little bit more tactics and I'm going to do one, eight. And that will hit five enemies starting with the one that I choose. So I'm going to choose A and that should try to hit all five slither beasts and try to put them to sleep and if i can put them to sleep they won't attack now it doesn't hit everybody all the time i got lucky uh, but i will take that uh, normally at this point i would then start uh, using the fight command and choosing anybody that is still awake uh, but because everybody's asleep i might as well just go for a why not and some of them have woken up, so now I do want to go for A and C and leave B, D, and E alone. Because once you hit them, they wake up and then they can attack you, and I don't want that. So shoot A, we miss. Attack A, and we miss. <laughs> Accuracy is low, and that has been an issue to this point. I considered at one point uh, redoing it and spending like three or four hours making a better party, but I think we'll still be okay having the low accuracy that I do. But know that this is a problem. Uh, hit A, we'll miss. All right, um, Humphrey doesn't really have anything to do at this point because nobody's been hit, so I'm just going to block. But Shalvir can do level, uh, level one, number four, which is basic fire spell and hit a one point of damage all right can you finish them off nope you miss and they hit hard seven and five so what i can do at this point is hit q for quick reference and that'll show me pretty much everything here and this is the way that i have been doing it uh, at this point uh, is checking because then I can see everybody and that makes it a lot easier. All right, so I'm going to heal Brunelli, which is cast. Uh, oh, wrong person. All right, shoot. A, still miss. Attack, still miss. Attack, still miss. All right, one for Brunelli. Usually I don't miss this much. All right, cast one four on A. Another point of damage. And, all right, you just attack. Uh, shoot A. There we go. Finally, one goes down. Down goes another one. It was only a matter of time. Attack. Uh, quick. And uh, let's heal this cigar. Why not? It's better for me to stay on the side of caution. I will say, though, that once somebody gets down to zero, uh, they are not dead. They are incapacitated, but if they do get hit another time, then they are dead. So if somebody's down, try to heal them as quickly as possible. <laughs> Sometimes you can't help it. Sometimes uh, the first enemy attacks them and incapacitates them, and then the second enemy attacks them and kills them. Sometimes. I, it hasn't happened to me, but that is what I am told happens. All right, let's go for the regular attack there. Okay, and then I wasn't paying enough attention, but shoot B, uh, fight B, fight B. Anybody need healing? Thysagar does. There we go. They do hit hard. And now Shalvir is out of attacks. Um, can't equip a sling on the mages in the back, so we're just kind of, we're just useless now. So block, <laughs> fight B. 
All right. Well, one one is wounded at least. Shoot B. Down you go. All right. Attack and down they go. We get 50 experience points for that, um, which is more than enough. We already had enough. Now at this point, this is where I screwed up again last time. I thought that the game would just, you know, tell me there was a treasure chest. Uh, that is not how this game works. You have to search after a battle. If you can rest after a battle and you'll still be fine. But as soon as you take a step, then uh, you lose the potential for a treasure chest. So what we want to do is hit the search button at this point. Search. There was nothing there. Uh, but if there was something, that's when you get the gold and potentially an item. Items are pretty rare, though. Let's go ahead and rest. Uh, this is how I've been doing it. Rest, yes. Typically no encounters. Uh, I did get, I think, twice uh, into a fight after uh, I tried to rest, and then some of your party is asleep, and it's a much harder battle. But uh, for the most part, when you're in town, you're relatively safe. You could go to the inn. I believe that helps, but I could just rest. And when I rest, I lose one food. My nose that I got some food along the way. Food is actually really cheap in this game. I am I am happy about that. Uh, but now that I have rested, let's cast one five. And there goes the spell point. And now I have leather skin back up. It was gone after I rested. Uh, but now everybody's good. Like, because I can rest in town, level grinding wasn't too bad. Uh, it's just a lot. You just have to do a lot. Oh, I'm facing the wrong way. Okay. So, with that done, let us go into Otto's training. Now, Otto's training, before you are various groups engaged in training exercises, Warg the Guildmaster asks, do you require training? And the answer is yes. Uh, now, you can try to gather gold, but I made sure that everybody had 25 gold uh, before we got into this, so we should be fine. All right, so let's commence training on Brunelli. And I'm not going to do save states here to try to get the best level up. I think that the levels that we have should be fine. Keyword being should. Let's commence the training. And we are level two and have gained seven hit points. Hooray! Let's switch over to this cigar and commence training. That's only 40 gold. But the last one was 25, right? So make sure you have 40 on everybody. Uh, let's go ahead and commence training on you. I gained three hit points. That's not great, but once again, we're, we'll be fine. And yeah, now I need a thousand more for Brunelli, two thousand more for Thysagar, essentially. Uh, let's go ahead and commence training on Aelwyn. We got three hit points there. And I don't know if we... Oh, I was about to say, I don't know if we got spell points, but Aelwyn doesn't have it. For whatever reason, I've been thinking Aelwyn's a, a mage character. All right, commence training. Five more hit points for you. And Humphrey gets five more hit points. And Shalvir gets four more hit points. Now, the hit points in the back don't mean too much. And... How many hit points you get is uh, seemingly random, obviously random, but uh, it also is impacted by how much endurance you have. So you, you want endurance. Now we turn around and get out. And let's take a look here and no additional spell points for our casters. It really was just the HP, but the HP is useful. And I don't believe any stats have increased because of that. I don't believe so. I believe that's how I had it set up before. Okay. So before we move on, I should address food. Food is vital to living in this game, like many other games that we have done. And now that I have done more work in this game, I understand it a bit better. So uh, that's where we purchased all our equipment. But actually, before we move on, let's head in there and... Um, see while I have it in mind. Uh, can Thysagar buy a small shield here? You can. Let's go ahead and purchase that. That that will help me. All right, we'll escape, escape, and uh, to equip A. There we go, and now AC's up by another point. That is nice. Okay, so 
here is the food. What does it say? Eulard's Fine Foods. Now, the way that it, this works is that as long as everybody has five gold on them, which I don't right now, uh, but I wasn't going to do it anyway. If you go in with everybody at five gold, you can eat as much as you want and it'll fill up your food. Keep in mind that food goes down by one every time you rest. But food is maxed out at 40. So you can have 40 food on you for five gold apiece. So food is cheap, which is nice. I like when food is cheap. Okay, so that's kind of what I've been doing. It is now time to move on and do something new. Hooray! I like new things. Uh, let's go um, all the way to the end. No, not all the way to the end. Uh, this one here. And then we can go here and take a left. And we will go into the stairs leading down yes please wait and now we are in darkness so i need to cast light uh, i could purchase something for this but i think it's fine to go without it that's a clerical spell so we will have humphrey cast uh one five and there's our light spell and once again we can see one screen in front of us that is nice um, which way am I facing? I'm not facing north, am I? No, I am facing west. Okay, so let's see what we can find. Can I go in here? It is locked. Now I can try to unlock it with Brody. And let's see what's in it now. Scrolled on the wall, a message read, the jail above has many cells. Yeah, we haven't made it into the jail. I don't really want to go into the jail right now, but we will see... What else awaits me down here? Can I go in here? We have darkness and I believe a fixed encounter. Yes, you're always going to fight 10 snakes. I believe that is 10 snakes. So let's do what we can this time. Aowyn is in melee range and Brody is not. Like I said, I believe it's kind of random, uh, but we will shoot A and then they all go nothing too bad and none of the snakes that aren't in melee range have any sort of ranged attack so they did not hit us so let's attack again one snake down shoot a and cast one two magic doesn't work here i don't like the sound of that um cast let's try it again Magic doesn't work here. All right, we will block, cast one eight on A. Nope. It, all right, so it's just purely non-magical here, which I did not expect. All right, let's uh, attack. One more goes down. Hopefully nobody hits us too hard and I can rest after this. All right, we will shoot A. Down you go. Attack. Shoot A. Uh, I did notice that with Aelwyn, even though I did have the option to just attack, I'm still shooting because the great bow, I believe, only gets used when I use it at use shoot. So that seems the better way to go. All right, they're not they're not hitting too hard here. Shoot A, attack, shoot A. All right, we're halfway there. Notice that I also did speed up um, the dialogue in these fights. That's done with uh, D for delay. I think I have it at one. Let's change it to zero and see if, if that's too fast. That is too fast. <laughs> we'll put it at one. Uh, not pay. Yeah, that is that is just too fast. All right, block and block. Attack, miss, shoot A. One goes down, attack, shoot A. You lived? Live enough to hit th for three more points, too. And now the monsters got to go first because the handicap went for them. Uh, how are we? Oh, we're not doing great. Uh, shoot A, down you go. Attack, shoot A, down you go. 
block, block, attack. All right, just one left. And they attacked, but I didn't see who, but it was an Aelwyn, so that's what matters. Attack, shoot. All right, we got it. And we got 83 experience points for that fight. And then we're in darkness. We will search. And there was nothing. All right, we'll turn around and leave. No, we have to unlock with Brody and a death ray and down goes everybody but humphrey all right let's get out of there cat all right five um one uh five i think it was for light okay run <laughs> and we will head back into town so that didn't work well so let's go ahead and rest here and then we can re-up our... Uh, huh? Oh, they got more spell points because I rested. I thought, like, I should be getting more spell points, but I didn't rest afterwards. Okay, so that makes sense. So I do have more spell points. I just had to rest after I leveled up to get them. Not sure why, but that is how that works. Notice that I have to be pointed the right way in order to interact with objects here. That's kind of important. Okay, back down we go. Uh, five. Um, no, five. Cast one five. Give me some light. Okay, once again, we're facing west. I'm not sure why, because we were facing south to get here. But the stairs turned us. Okay, so I can follow this path up. Uh, oh, that... That looks bad. Let's see what we can do. Um, hopefully we can still use magic at this point. Even though I surprised them, the battle rats got, got a turn in. Let's go for the zombies as quickly as we can. Cast one, two. Yep, now as long as we're not in like the jail cell, we can use magic. All right, one, eight, and we'll start with B. I got one. I got one. All right, down goes the zombie. Five points from the zombie on me. Shoot the zombie. Attack. Shoot the zombie. Okay. Um, I think we're fine. Block. Cast one four on A. I usually only like using sleep once. So if it doesn't work, then it just doesn't work. All right, another battle rat goes down. And shoot A, attack, shoot A, um, yeah, cast one four on this cigar. This cigar needs more. Uh, cast one four on A, not affected. Okay, can I hit it? Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> oh, for five. Hey, I got one. Yeah, the uh, the accuracy. I'll see if I can uh, make that better. <laughs> Shoot a. There it goes. There goes one. Shoot a. All right, we're down to the last three here. I don't believe anybody needs to be healed at this point. I do like saving my heals for when it's best uh, best use. Remember that it's eight points flat every time right now. Uh, I did pick up some gems at some point and I, I transferred them to Humphrey, but uh, they're not super useful right now. All right, 43 experience points. Do I get some treasure finally out of this? There we go. Uh, one out of three. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, but we will uh, find and remove the trap. That's what you want to do each time. Uh, don't bother detecting trap uh, with with magic, it just wastes magic points. Uh, this is why we have the robber with us, and that'd be Brody. So two, and then four, because we want Brody to do it. And everybody got seven gold, which is enough for 40 food for everybody. Uh, let's try to rest here. Good. And then cast one, five. I do like that the... Um, 
the light stayed with us. Okay, let's... What did I, what did I say? I shouldn't have said it. There's the light! I figured it would go away, but I figured it would be uh, weirder than that. All right, so we have to unlock this one. Unlock failed. Let's try it again. Success! Why wouldn't he just keep going until it worked? Um, all right. Now, I can turn right here, and then we can try to go through there. It's a long hallway that will lead you to a portal. I don't want to take the portal right now, though. I'm just kind of exploring around. So let's go up into this corner over here. And here we get into an encounter before the encounter. Okay, uh, let's go for the attack here. Now, attacking is supposed to make you a little bit evil, but I, I believe that's only certain um, certain fights. All right, at least the snakes can't hit us from the back. Uh, who got hit? Yeah, oh, God. Two of you. Um, hit the locust plagues. Yes. For whatever reason, I, I think it should say plaque, but no, plague. That is correct. Make me more accurate, please. All right, one eight on A. Well, I got two of the snakes. They couldn't attack me anyway, but maybe, maybe that will matter at some point. Jeez, they just hit everybody. Okay, we got one. Uh, who's the worst here? Brunelli is. Not good enough. All right, down, down they go. That is good because, uh, they were hitting everybody and that's never a good sign. Okay, just attack. Shoot B. Um... Cast one, four on two. They only have melee attacks, so it won't matter too much. Hit B, uh, fight B. All right, down to the last one. Shoot, down you go. A hundred experience points. This is so much better than what I was getting up there. Let's search, nothing, rest, no encounters. That's what I like to see. Uh, cast one, five. Okay, now usually at this point I would drop a save. That's what I've been doing, but uh, let's see what happens. Darkness and an encounter. Oh, I don't, I don't like this one at all. The sprites, the reason that I've been avoiding sprites is that not only do they hit usually for double digits, they hit for like 10 to 15 damage. Uh, they also cast a curse, which makes you less likely to hit the enemy. So let's try to retreat. Didn't work. We're probably going to die here. All right. Uh, let's shoot A. But now we got the hard ones. Shoot A. Cast one, two. At least I can do that. Cast one, eight on A. Yeah, I've never been able to put them to sleep, but I wanted to try. That's a lot of curses. That is a lot of curses. I, I have taken out a, a group of sprites like this before, but it's not easy. It is not easy at all. Attack. Shoot A. We're fine. Cast one four on A. You, I, I'm not sure if magic gets affected by the curse based on what I can, uh, I've seen so far. It doesn't, but man... Look how hard they can hit. I, I do have, you know, better equipment and stuff, but still. Like, they can hit so hard sometimes. And I can't do anything to help. Okay, cast 1-4 on A. It always hurts so much when that doesn't land. There's the 11 damage I was talking about. Lots more curses. Any, anything? Who got hit? Brunelli did again. There we go. We got one. Only seven more to go. I don't think the curses stack, but I think the curse is more powerful than my little spell. 
Oh, Brunelli's down? I didn't even notice. All right, get back up, Brunelli. That was good that you lived. Um, got one, hooray, I think. I think, I, well, I have a few more because I, I have more, more spell points these days. Thysagar is down. I healed the wrong person. All right. And Brunelli goes down because that was 23 points of damage. Bring Thysagar back, I guess. I told you I'm probably going to die here. Thysagar goes down. Brunelli's back. All right, we got another one. Shoot A, shoot A, for two, cast one for A, got another one, attack, shoot A, okay, at least nobody's down this time, Thysagar got one, shoot A, still miss, um, there's no point in really healing anybody at this point, like, we'll heal them when they go down. And you're out of spell points. Great. Down they both go. All right, we'll bring Brunelli back. Brunelli's back down. And none, all right, we, we hit somebody. That might be my last. All right, Brunelli's down, Aelwyn's down. Now everybody's in melee range. Yeah, you can't, you don't have any more spells to use. And down we go. The shadow of death has fallen upon your party. Fortunately, you may renew your quest from the last in from which you stayed by pressing return. Hooray. So that is how difficult the game's uh levels like how everything just spikes so much uh i didn't even make it far enough into the cavern to really show off what i wanted to show off uh so give me a little bit here i'll just reload the save and then we will avoid a lot of the we'll avoid all of the fixed fights uh because that was just one uh there is a point to actually going through here so i want to show that off so i'll be back all right, essentially back where we were when I started the session, I did get a slightly different level up, uh, but like I said, I'm not really willing to go through and fix those. And I was wrong. We do actually face west when we go this way. So let's head down and then we can cast with Humphrey. Cast one, five, and then we can see. Okay, so what I want to show off because I'll be doing level grinding here, uh, but something I want to show off is if we go this way and through this door here, we will unlock that Brody. Hooray. Uh, then we can take, well, we can still show off a few other things. Let's go north twice here. And then all of this section is just going to lead to messages. So here's one. Scroll in the wall, the message reads, don't turn around. And we got an encounter. <laughs> Uh, the, there is a message. That's why I wanted to show it off. All right, let's see what we can do here. Uh, these don't look too bad. I have taken on all of these enemies before. Um, not necessarily in a group like this, but, you know, nothing here scares me like sprites. And, well, I got the kobold at least, so take on the vampire bat. And they don't hit too hard, but the, the kobold's back. Shoot A, attack, attack, and should be good. Cast one, four, and attack. Easy peasy, nothing too bad. That That's a normal fight that I'm used to. So let's search, and we found a leather sack. Two, four, three gold. Okay. Uh, I am going to rest here, though, and then re-up. At some point, I won't have to do this every fight, but for now, it's every fight. Okay. 
Got my protection and my light back. Let's head over to this corner. Don't turn around. And it's another encounter. And it's a gargantu ant. Let's attack that. And I have not taken these on before. But I'm hoping they're not too bad. And it's pretty much the same thing so far. Um, nobody got hit, though. You can't put them to sleep. Ooh, they hit hard. Shoot A. Attack. Oh, they have so many health points. Thysigar. And one for A. Six more points. They're still alive? Aelwyn goes down. Okay, one down. On Aelwyn. I would love to hit somebody else with that though okay at least nobody's down down you go who needs the most for Nelly all right Aelwyn's down again This is why I heal after every fight. Uh, one for A. It's still not enough. Still not enough. Brunelli's down. Just gonna have to live with uh, knowing that people are gonna go down a lot. <laughs> Immediately down again. And I believe when they're unconscious, they still get, like, the experience and stuff. Um, but I always like to bring them back. You never know. Okay, 66 experience points each. You know, let's face it. We, we know what's going to happen, but... Oh, well, there we go. Wooden chest. That will more than likely have an item for us. Every time I've gotten one, it's given me an item. Zero gold, but a plate mail. Ooh, that is good. All right, so let's go ahead and equip that. So we already have an AC of seven. Uh, plate mail is better than what we can buy in town. So in order to do this, I can't just equip a plate mail. You're already wearing armor. You have to remove the chain mail. Then you can equip the plate mail. So we went from seven to nine. Very nice. And I can try trading this. Um, Aelwyn would be next. Um, for that and then item and a can you equip that leather armor I don't think you can but oh you can that's I did not expect that I will take that all right AC of eight on Aowen let's go ahead and rest and six cast one five five cast one five we have one more of these to go. No big surprises as to what that's going to be, but we'll still do it. Over here, don't turn around, and we get into encounter Mutant Lover and Guardsmen. I believe Guardsmen are the ones I'm supposed to retreat from. Let's see if that works. Nope. Let's shoot the, the Mutant Lava then. And attack. Yeah, they're not too bad. Cast one, two, cast one, eight, starting with whoever's in the front. Did get one guardsman, but that's not a ton. And the guardsmen advance and move to the front. All right, we will shoot A. Down you go. Attack. All right, we got most of the guardsmen down, just the last one that's asleep. Uh, no need to heal right now. Attack. Okay, shoot A. Attack. Attack. Uh, I think we're fine. Cast one four on A. Down you go. Guardsman goes down. 28 experience points. Not, like, not the best, but we'll take it. I have plenty of food, right? And then we will search. 
and that's just gonna have gold in it, three gold piece. Let's go ahead and rest then, no encounters, six, cast one, five, five, cast one, five, that just re-ups our light. Okay, so three little messages, didn't really need to show them off, but I did anyway. Now, where do I actually want to go from here? Um, did I get lost? No, okay. So, uh, oh, I'm fine. Uh, we should be able to pass through that. Yeah, that's what I already unlocked. And we can go all the way back to the beginning. So that's what I wanted to show off there. But of course there's more for me to show off. And that would be through this path. Can we just go through that? We can, it's not a locked door. Okay. So we'll follow this path through the unlocked door. Take the first right that you have Ignore that door there, that just leads to an encounter. And then we can go all the way up here and around. And here it says the arena. And I believe this is where we need to go. Around the room there are several balconies filled with cheering peasants. A man asks, will you participate? The answer right now is no. I'm not strong enough for this, but that is available to you. And then you can go out here and there's the arena again. Okay, so that's another thing that is done. Um, what else do I want to show off here? Through there is another fixed encounter. So I think I'm just going to go this way. Um, and then we can actually show off the real reason that I'm here, hopefully. Um, yeah, we have to go all the way back to the beginning. Okay. Uh, not taking the stairs yet. Through here. Boiling oil. Rest. Six, one, five. Five, one, five. Let's try it again. Oh, it's already open. All right, we did it. Uh, now through here, we have to unfortunately go through some fixed encounters. Flesh eaters shouldn't be too bad. Let's shoot A, attack, shoot A, cast one two, cast one eight. We got two of them asleep, fight B. Uh, shoot B, not fight B. All right, fight B, and then shoot A. Block, cast one four, a. All right, 13 experience points. That one went so well that I don't feel the need to um, to rest, but we will search because we got four of these fights to go. There's mutant larva. Let's go ahead and shoot A. Attack. Attack. All right, we got one. Uh, one, two. One, eight. Yeah, I don't think I've ever put mutant larvae to sleep either. All of this, like, it, it's going to be worth it. Don't get me wrong. But these fights, they, they're starting to get tedious already. And we just started. Okay. Uh, block. I might have to start cutting these out. And... But for now, I, I, I do want to show them off. We're still very early in the game. Shoot A, attack, attack, block cast, one, four. Nope, not enough. Down you go. All right, 26 experience points. Okay, search, rest, six, cast one, five, five, cast one, five. And go forward again. Skeletons! They're all in range. Okay. Uh, let's hope for the best here. One, eight, starting with B. Oh, they're skeletons. I should try a different tactic. But I did want to make sure everybody could hit first. So it's not too bad. 
I'll have to look to see how much damage got done there. Um, okay, how's everybody doing? I think that's fine. Um, let's cast 1-8, which is turn undead. And we might eliminate a few of these skeletons as a result. So there's six of them now. Now there's only two. Hooray. That actually did work. <laughs> Who would have thought? All right, down goes another one. And... Now, at this point, you can hold down um, Control A and it'll just kind of auto attack for you, but I don't like doing that. It's very risky to just continually attack. Search. Five more gold. And this time we will rest again. I think that's three fights. One five and five. One five, go forward. There's fire ants. I'll attack them. Shoot A. Yeah, just attack. Shoot A. Cast one two. Make me a little bit more accurate here. One eight starting with B because A is wounded. It feels like I can only put humanoids to sleep, but ants should be able to go to sleep. At least that's how I feel about it. And there's a breath. That's never good. Okay, shoot A. Shoot A. We did get a couple. Um, that's fine. Cast one four on A. You would assume that they'd be immune to fire, but I'm still going to try it. And down goes Humphrey? That's not good. I don't have any heals now. Yeah. Okay. We got another one. We got we only have four more to go. Um Can I try a sleep spell again? Because fire is not working on the fire ants. Okay, shoot A. Not enough. Down one goes. Try it again. Yeah, I, I don't think that's ever going to work. But I don't have anything else for you to do, and we're going to heal after this no matter what. Shoot A. All right, we got you down. Just two more. I feel like you were so close. Come on, land! No, it's not, it's not going to. All right, one left. Just the one. Down you go. 66 experience points. And I believe Humphrey should get that. That'll be our first test to see if that works. All right, leather sack. Five gold piece. All right, so let's rest. No encounters. That's nice. Uh, 2259 experience for you. 2259. All right, so yes, you, you do still get that. Um, yeah, we cast light. Okay. So through that gauntlet, uh, you do have one fixed encounter here, one fixed encounter here, and one fixed encounter here. And I believe where I want to go is here. So let's unlock that with Brody. There's a trap. There's acid. And everybody is gone. Well, everybody had something hit them. Cast one five. Cast one five. Can we go through now? We can. An elderly man behind a desk speaks, speaks, I am in need of a courier service. Are you interested? The answer is yes. Good. Take this scroll to the wizard Agar in Erlequin and you shall be rewarded. Now I have to go through this on the way back. If I do, I'm skipping it. All right, good. We didn't have to do it. So that's the real reason we came in here. Uh, by the way, through all those, um, all these locks, uh, the first three sets have nothing. It's just a jail cell, so to speak. But the fourth one, there's 
an encounter on both sides. So just avoid those. But we have basically fully explored uh, the, the, the Sorpagal's Cavern here. So we're going to take this up and we need to get to Erlequin. But as you can see, I'm still a little bit under leveled. Um, I'm, I want to get up to level three before I really do leave town the normal way. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in there and kind of just go through that little gauntlet each time and then come back and heal and all that kind of stuff. How much food do I have? I still have 16 food. And once again, five gold gets you basically 40. So we should be good. But that is going to do it for this part of Might and Magic. I've been Baller Scuba. This has been Video Games Over Time. I hope you laughed, I hope you learned, and I hope to see you next time when we do some more exploring. Thanks for watching.